So I wanted to do a video for you out on the bow, but it turned out to be kind of extremely windy. That being said, I decided to do a video in my office, but now I have wind hair. And it's not just wind hair, it's kind of wind and sand and salt hair. And I know what you're thinking, S sand? The reason there's sand in my hair is because it's currently hamaton. And I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Hamaton, if you're wondering, is when winds blow sand off the Sahara Desert and down into sub-Saharan Africa and apparently out into the ocean. It leads to a very mighty haze, and in this case, a very fine sandy sandy sandiness. So the sea air is already pretty salty and gets you all filmy, and then of course you add sand and, you know, it makes for sandiness. And spiky hair. Now I know what you're wondering next, no I don't know what you're wondering next at all, but what I'm going to talk about next is the fact that this sand is actually, it's not the first time I've experienced this, when we were in Togo in particular, it was pretty nasty, and I had a motorcycle, and my motorcycle would just get covered in this sandy film nastiness, and I would have to clean it all the time, which, I don't want to clean all the time, who wants to clean all the time? That said, it was important because, you know, motorcycle maintenance and all that, and I don't want to die, not that sand caused me to die, but you never know, one thing leads to another, and eventually, kaboom, you explode on the road. That said, I'll just say that it's been a fantastic sale so far. We're off the coast of Western Africa. I can't tell you exactly where because that would be a breach of security. But we're somewhere <laughs> around Africa. We've already seen a lot of sea life. We've already seen dolphins and orcas and some unknown form of whale and sea turtles and flying fish and little fish that aren't flying fish. They don't fly. And it makes me wonder about the flying fish. I tried to get footage of the flying fish. It's really hard to do. They're not, they're not camera friendly. But it makes you wonder what that experience is for a predator. Let's say you're chasing a flying fish and all of a sudden jumps out of the water, practically like he disappears. I wonder if they're kind of like the teleporting fish of the fish world because, you know, they jump into another dimension practically and then psh, appear somewhere else. Clever, crafty fish. But I'm hoping that we see some sharks. That's all we have left to see, really, at this point, is sharks. And maybe a mermaid or two. I'm holding out for the mermaids. I don't know that we're ever going to see any sharks, but mermaids seem more likely at this point. We'll be arriving at the Congo at some point, and until then, we'll be out here on the ocean, and I'll try to make another video or two. Maybe just one. We'll see. I'm not exactly, I'm obviously not on top of my schedule. I'm not posting on Mondays at this point. I'm trying. Tuesday is closer than Friday, though. Why are you, stop yelling at me. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe and, you know, like this and come back again for more. I will be sure to post something else. Hopefully a beautiful sunset, you know, when it's not all hazy and sandy and hamatani out there. And I will see you again on Monday or someday close to Monday. Monday. Hopefully Monday. Spiky air!